28th annual Heartland Film Festival is underway here in Indianapolis, and today we get the chance to watch a Hoosier classic. Breaking Away is an Indiana favorite from 1979. It was shot in Bloomington, and it's about the first Cutters cycling team in the Little 500. For the movie's 40th anniversary, Heartland has a special screening tonight, complete with a red carpet event beforehand. Lead actor Dennis Christopher will be there, but guess what? He's here right now to talk with us about it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be back in Indiana. Can you believe it's been 40 years? Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Um, when, you, when you filmed this movie, did you have any idea that it would become what it really did as far as a, a Hoosier classic? Well, it's not only a Hoosier classic, classic. I think it's an American classic. Absolutely. It's It's right up in there in the top five of sports movies ever mm -hmm. shot. Uh, I think it's an American classic, not just an Indiana or a Hoosiers classic, because it um, it goes back to the time when it was a simpler time. It's an interesting story because it's a very exciting sports movie, but it's also a commentary on class difference. Mm -hmm. and passing the torch from one generation to the next. And we hit upon some classic themes in there for family, for um, especially the relationship between the father and the son. And really rooting for the underdog. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we made up the cutters. This is what <laughs> happened. Did. The, yeah. the, we didn't make it up. Our writer, Steve Tessich, did. Mm -hmm. Who attended IU. Did you, did you realize at the time what it would become? No, I don't think any of us had any idea. Um, for me, uh, being the role that it was, encompassing so much racing and so much talking, mm -hmm. uh, it was really the, the first time I had a lead role, so I was occupied through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, until that time, when you go on locations, a lot of times you're sitting in the hotel, but not for me. It was either racing or singing opera or <laughs> whatever it was that I had to do for the film. What was it like to be in Bloomington? You said you were there for a couple of weeks, a couple really of months? It was really fantastic. You know, when we first got there, if you're familiar with the movies, and please, come on down tonight. We still have yeah. tickets. This is the 28th International Film Festival here. It's one of the biggest ones in this part of the country. And uh, we want people to come out. It's going to be a great event. But when we first got here, the quarries, the famous quarries, were, which they took all the, the stone from that built Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. were covered with graffiti and lots of trash. Mm -hmm. And we took them and refinished them and sandblasted all the graffiti off and made them pristine again. I wish they'd been able to keep that up, but you'll be able to see Bloomington and parts of Indiana that have changed dramatically since that film 40 years ago. So, a uh, red carpet preview tonight as well as a special screening yeah. later on. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at the Heartland Film Festival. Okay, and for more information, for tickets, all of that information, it's all online. Just check it out at WTHR.com. And come on down. Absolutely. Dennis, thank you so much Thanks for being for here. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on the Coats for Kids drive. Oh, I think what you. you guys are doing here is amazing and very important. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back.